aren't these yours? I don't even think they fit. One way to know for sure. Having sex with one guy does not make you gay. How about four? Cody, what are you doing? I think it's pretty obvious. I'm de-gaying the apartment. Look, I know it's hard for you to accept that I'm not straight. I can't believe I didn't even notice how gay you decorated this place. I mean, I'm just getting used to the idea myself. I should have suspected something when you brought home this figurine. I mean, hello, it's the figurine. I just need you to realize that this is who I am. Oh man, and this lamp? Could it be any more gay? Cody, that lamp was a gift from you. She'll let you flirt with that Joel guy just to keep the rent down. Cody, flirting with Joel did not make me gay. Well, what did then? I don't know. The jury's still out on that. But I'm pretty sure that scientific research has ruled out the whole paper, scissors, rock theory. Carter, you can't be gay. We're exactly the same in every way. So that means if you're gay, then maybe... Cody, are you worried that you might be gay? <laughs> no. Why? Because there's one simple test to find out for sure. There is. Oh, yeah. Here. Close your eyes. Now touch your nose. Now ask yourself, do you ever want to have sex with men? No. <laughs> Carter, come on, this isn't a joke. I mean, if you've been gay all this time and I didn't even know, then, then I don't even know who you are. Bad day at work? Something like that. I had a fight with my brother. He's not too thrilled at the idea of me being gay. The curse of the family. So, this brother of yours, does he live in town? Actually, he lives in my apartment. Kept your brother a secret, just so I wouldn't raise the rent. That's so cute. You're not mad then? For some reason, I find it very hard to be mad at you. <laughs> and don't worry. I won't raise the rent. <laughs> Too much paperwork. <laughs> so, when do I get to meet this infamous loafer? How about never? Carter, I can't do this. I can't be with somebody who's not comfortable with who they are. But I am. And I want to be with you, really. I don't just want sex. I want romance. And somebody who's not afraid to be seen with me outside of the laundry room or the hot tub. I can do that. Then prove it. Have me over to your place for dinner tomorrow night. Okay. And if you try to cancel, I'll know that you're not ready for a relationship. Well, at least somebody's scoring tonight. Uh, sorry, babe. Hey, what happened here anyway? Looks like a totally bad taste bomb went off. Yeah. Anyway, why don't we just, uh, get down to business? Down to business? Ever heard of a thing called seduction? Girl needs a little foreplay, you know. Look, Cody, no offense, but a date with you is way more fun when your brother's around. Hey. Uh, sorry I freaked out on you earlier, bro. I'm guessing things didn't go so well with Vanessa. I'm not too good at flying solo. I uh, need a co-pilot. Me too. So, does this mean you're okay with me being... The ugly twin? Dude, you're my brother. I asked around and apparently there's nothing I can do about it. Good, because I've invited Joel over for dinner tomorrow night. Cool, I'll clear up. Actually, he's coming over to meet you. He knows there's two of us. He knows I have a brother that lives with me. He doesn't know we're twins. Dude, I think he's gonna figure it out. Oh, I know. It's just that I really like Joel, and I don't want him to think that this was one big trick we played so he wouldn't raise the rent. Which, by the way, he's not gonna do, because I think he likes me too. You really like this guy, huh? Well, don't sweat it, bro. We'll pour on the Travis Brothers charm, and he won't even know what hit him. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Work called while you were out. Something about some McCrickered guy coming to town a day early? What? Oh, this is a disaster. It's Mr. Carmine, I'll be there for sure. Yes, I know how important this is. Absolutely. I won't let you down. No, no, everything's fantastic. Okay, bye now.
Well, it's official. My life sucks. What's the problem? This McCrickard guy is the ad agency's biggest client, and just my luck, he's decided to fly in a day early. Guess who's got to pick him up at the airport? So, cancel your date with Joel. Can't. He said if I cancel, he'll know I'm not ready for a relationship. But I'll lose my job if I don't take McCrickard out for dinner and pitch this new campaign we've been working on for like three months. I just wish there was some way I could be in two places at once. Dude, I don't think I can learn everything there is to know about advertising in just one night. Oh no. Cody, you gotta do this for me. Just get things started. I'll be back before you know it. Joel won't know the difference. I don't know why I ever agreed to do this. Because you're my incredibly understanding brother, and you want to show me how totally cool you are with me being gay. Did I mention handsome? This is a bad idea. <sighs> Come on, Cody. We used to switch places all the time. Yeah, but I never had to date a guy. Look, I told you, if I cancel this date with Joel, you'll think I'm not ready for a relationship, and I am. Well, if you're so ready, why don't you go on a date with him? <sighs> but look, I told you, I have to meet this client or I'll totally lose my job. Besides, Joel doesn't know I have a twin brother. He won't notice a difference. Uh, no. We're wearing the sand tonight. Why? Because sand makes Joel totally hot. Okay, that's it. I can't do this. Joel just wants to be romanced. My meeting won't take long, and I'll be back way, way before anything happens. So just a little wine, conversation, that's it. Exactly. So what do we talk about, gay stuff? <sighs> Try guy stuff. You and Joel have a lot of the same interests, even like the same sports teams. Hmm. Oh, here, take this. I'll page you when I'm downstairs and we can make the switch. Joel won't even know the difference. <laughs> Sexy. Since this is our first real date, I thought these would be appropriate. Ah, uh, geez, I better put these in some water, quick. Nice place. From what you've told me about your brother, I'm guessing you did most of the decorating? Ah, uh, yeah. Bad taste. But did I mention he's like a total genius? Where is he tonight, anyway? Ah, uh, turns out he had to pick up someone at the airport, but he said he'd be back real soon. I hope. So we're alone, then. Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> oh, hey. This date's supposed to be about romance, remember? Not about kissing and stuff? Yeah, you're right. Let's save the good stuff for dessert. Yeah, dessert, which comes way, way after dinner. Uh, in the meantime, why don't you sit here, and I'll sit over here on the other side of this nice, uh, solid, wooden table. Wine? Sure. I'm glad we could do this, Carter. You are? Sure, because now I can actually get to know the real you. <laughs> Five stitches across the eyebrow, and that's how I got into whitewater rafting. Wow, we really do have a lot in common. Carter's right. I mean, I was right when I thought that earlier about myself. Carter. So, you uh, went to Alaska? Yeah, I thought I told you all about that yesterday. Yeah, but it was such an interesting story, I uh, wanted to hear it again. Okay, but you'll have to wait a couple minutes, because I gotta... Oh, right, uh, through that door right there. Carter, fine. Carter, I thought you said you were gonna... Vanessa! <laughs> Vanessa, what are you doing here? I decided to give you a second chance. And I mean muffins. Uh, this really isn't a good time. Cody, do you have another girl in here? Girl? No, uh, I, uh, I did all this for you. Uh, for me? It was uh, gonna be a surprise. Oh, you're the sweetest. And I have a little surprise for you. I told you it was gonna be a little surprise. Oh, uh, why don't you go into my room and slip it on and I'll call you when everything's ready. Don't come out till I say it's okay. Okay, thanks. 
So, you ready to hear about Alaska? <laughs> yeah, why don't we do it over coffee? At a coffee shop on the other side of town. Okay. Wait, I'll get my coat. On um, second thought, why don't we uh, go to my room? Now? I want you so bad. <laughs> Must have gone out. So how do you like my muffins? Muffins? What are you doing here? I already told you, I'm giving you a second chance. As if you couldn't tell. Hey, Vanessa, this really isn't a good time. Cody, enough with the deja vu, okay? Actually, Vanessa, I'm fucked. Thank God you're here, man. I tried, but I just couldn't keep going. You gotta get in there. Oh my god, Cody, are you gay? I'm not. Carter is. <laughs> uh, Joel, can I talk to you for a second? I'm really not sure I want to hear what you have to say right now. Look, I know what my brother and I did was wrong, but we only did it because you said you were... I hope you're not going to try to put the blame of this on me. No, no, that's not what I meant. Carter, after what you did, I don't think that a half-assed laundry room apology is going to cut it. Uh, actually, Joel, I'm... I'm hoping you'll give me the opportunity to apologize to you properly. Over dinner? Tonight? Uh, I'll get it. Carter, can you get my glass of wine from the balcony? Sure. Hey, glad you could make it. Come on in. I almost didn't come, and then I figured, hey, free meal. <laughs> well, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. What's he doing here? Well, if you must know, your brother invited me over here to apologize. Well, he did, did he? And what would you have to apologize about, Cody? Cody? <laughs> That's it. I am not about to get played again. I'm out of here. Oh, wait, just stay for a drink. Just one drink? I mean, you're already all dressed up. You look good, by the way. Uh... <laughs> Doesn't he look good, Carter? Fine, I will stay, but only for one drink, and then I'm out of here. Good, because that's all the time Carter will need to apologize. I'm not gonna apologize. Fine, then I'll have my drink on the balcony. Why'd you invite him here? Because I know what's best for you. I'm your older brother, right? Yeah, by like two and a half minutes. So as your older brother, I'm telling you to get your ass out there and apologize, or I will. matter Carter didn't have the grapes to come out here himself actually Joel uh, Carter wanted to apologize but he can be a little pig-headed sometime that's an understatement yeah well the reason he went through with that whole scheme last night was because he was afraid of losing you he didn't want you to think that he wasn't ready for a relationship because he is Believe me, I know I'm better than you could possibly imagine. But he doesn't have to lie to me. He knows, and he's sorry. Carter just didn't want to screw things up. Because he really, really likes you. Tell him that I really, really like him, too. Ashley, Joel, I'm... <laughs> wow, it's like watching you make out with another guy. I know. I think it's... Totally hot. <laughs> you kids enjoying the show? You'll have to excuse my brother. He doesn't get out much. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cody, can you really read Carter's mind? Yeah, sure. What's he thinking right now? You mean besides how lucky he is to have such a smart and good-looking brother? <laughs> yes, besides that. He's thinking. He's glad he's found someone so fantastic who makes him feel really happy. All true. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, one more thing. He's also thinking, is that your leg or... Oh. <laughs> <laughs>